Hey, how's it going? Back of your iPhone King here. iPhone Labs. I've been looking at keyboards for the iPhone. Not external. I'm talking about skinning and theming the keyboard on there. I was using iKey uh, X. Um, it was pretty cool with the QWERTYs and all that crap, but I was really looking for one with skins and theme type deals to it. And I stumbled upon one um, so if you have watched my other videos then you have be your iPhone so let's begin I'll show you how this whole thing works and a few tricks you might want to know so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Cydia most of these things of course I've already done I'll just take you through the steps. Try to get through as fast as possible, being that we're dealing with Cydia. So, we're going to go into Cydia. And as soon as we get white, we're going to start doing our thing. Sections. Be your IP apps. Go to the eyes and then go get I access for English right there I already have it installed hopefully this isn't gonna take too long <clears throat> Alright, and then recently in my changes, we had some <clears throat> I access Chrome keys, Chromium, all these. Now, when you download these, they uh, I'm getting an error, a forbidden error, but if you hit install, it will download. And it goes to, we'll show you where it goes. So once you've done that, <clears throat> I'm hoping that you have SSH or iFile. You're going to need those, one of them at least. So we're going to go into iFile. You know what? Let me show you guys something real quick. Here's the keyboard. There's Chromium. All right. <clears throat> now, so we're going to iFile. Now, all this is going to be under in your var stash. So, <clears throat> there's stash. Now, in applications, is your iAccess app. And in it, you have this folder for themes. Now, it comes with one. For English now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside there and you see this thing called images <clears throat> you're gonna edit that hit done highlight and hit the garbage can then you're gonna go all the way back to stash and then go into themes now in here you're gonna have those themes that you downloaded for I access, I've already deleted them uh, once I was through. But you open it and you go through it, and it'll end up with a folder called images, the same kind that you deleted from the app inside um, I access. So you're gonna edit, copy, and paste that, copy it, and you're gonna come back into applications the I access you're gonna go back in your themes and then you're gonna edit and then hit down there for the thing and then paste 
it's going to replace the images now you can copy and paste what I've done in my stash I have done something called I copied a theme I emptied it out I got all this stuff and renamed it my work and I keep an I access for dummy there as you can see it's missing the images file so I could just copy right into that and then rename it copy that into the I access app come back in delete the images and rename it dummy again it makes for easy stuff and as you can see I did that a few times already I started with the the storm and then I went for the chromium and the chrome keys now when you change you always want to respring when you make changes in iFile so you would make your you would respring and <clears throat> iAccess is actually a icon <clears throat> you go in there which is where your theme was before and then you've got your selections and to, you have to reboot after after you uh, install the iAccess for and when you make changes to the keyboard so I'm hoping that you guys figured that out and that I kinda kept it short but enough so that you guys know what I was talking about and if you're watching my other videos then you know I shaved and I look a lot different Please watch my other videos, rate, comment, and subscribe. When I get my thousandth subscriber, I am going to do a big giveaway. Big, big, big. So, you know the drill. Peace.